It is playtime at school. Pepper and her friends are running around having fun. Ow! That hurts. Are you all right, Peppa? I've hurt my knee. <whistles> Madam Gazelle, Peppa has fallen over. You've just grazed your knee, Peppa. First, Madam Gazelle cleans Peppa's knee. Then she puts a plaster on it. Does that feel any better? Yes. Thank you. Now, children, you may have noticed that Pedro Pony isn't here today. Is he late again? No, Susie. Pedro is in hospital. Ooh. And today we are going to visit him. This is the hospital. Peppa and her friends have come to visit Pedro Pony. Remember, children, stay close to me. I don't want you getting lost. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Excuse me, Mr. Bull, which way is the children's ward? Down the steps, double doors, right, left, right, along the corridor, up the stairs, third on your left. Ah. Or you could just take the left. <laughs> <laughs> children's ward. <laughs> Pedro will be asleep. Sick people do a lot of sleeping. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro. Why aren't you asleep? You don't look sick. I broke my leg and they put it in this plaster cast. Wow. The plaster cast helps Pedro's leg get better. I grazed my knee and I got a plaster too. Wow. Do you want to draw on my plaster cast? Yes, please. The children are all doing drawings on Pedro's plaster cast. I'm drawing a football. I've drawn some flowers. Mr. Potato. A carrot. <laughs> and I've drawn a muddy puddle. Wow. Thanks, everyone. You can draw on my plaster too. OK, I'll draw a little flower. Thank you, Pedro. Pedro, what's it like being in hospital? It's great. What are the nurses like? They give me stickers. Wow. And they come whenever I press this button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching, it's my ear. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Peppa. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. Spring. It is springtime. Grandpa Pig has made a chocolate egg hunt. Is everybody ready? No, Grandpa. Freddy Fox isn't here. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Freddy. Freddy. Ah, hello, Mr Fox. Are you staying? I wish I could. I loved egg hunts when I was a little lad. See you later, Freddy. 
Now, are we ready for the egg hunt? Yes, yes Grandma Pig. There are lots of chocolate eggs hidden in my garden. You must find them. Easy. But be careful not to step on my little plants. Oh, it's so exciting in springtime to see these baby plants starting to grow. We promise to be careful, Grandpa. Very good. Off you go, then. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's chocolate egg hunt has begun. Have you got time for a cup of tea, Grandpa Pig? Oh, yes. It will take them ages to find my eggs. I've hidden them very well. Here's an egg. Pepper has found a chocolate egg in a plant pot. Here's another egg. Squeak! Rebecca Rabbit has found a chocolate egg hiding under a leafy bush. Hooray! An egg for me! <coughs> Emily Elephant has found a chocolate egg in the branches of a tree. I think I can smell chocolate. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. Yes! Freddy Fox has found a chocolate egg in the middle of the bird bath. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! We found the chocolate eggs! It was really fun, but it was a bit easy. It wasn't easy for the little ones. George, Richard and Edmund haven't found any eggs. <laughs> I wonder where the other eggs are. <laughs> Chucky eggs! <laughs> Ah, Edmund, I think there's something behind your ear. <laughs> Everyone has found a chocolate egg. What do we do now, Grandpa Pig? Ha-ha! <laughs> you eat them, of course. <laughs> Hello, children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <sighs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes. And they have eggs, too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and strong on my bed. And I jump up and down singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I'm a Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fate. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Wee-hee! We're going up in the air. 
Yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! It can even loop the loop. <laughs> poor Daddy, he's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency, emergency. Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Moo! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up. And down. And round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Great down recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa. I'm... Flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Yay! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Baby Alexander. Pepper and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Pepper. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yes! <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. Whee! I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. 
It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Pepper is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you, he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <laughs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <laughs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Pepper. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Pepper has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first 